What's up, everybody? Sean Fruin here. Uh, I was going to share this script placing fire dampers at intersections of fire rated walls. Um, there's been this question or thread out here over a year now about actually connecting them into duck, not just placing them. So yada, 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 pretty easy to place them, pretty tough to actually place them. So I kind of contributed for the first time. So a little proud of that. Um, a lot of other people helped me. First off, Taiko helped me a lot with the Python. So here it is. So I'm going to show you this example. Um, this is the example that I posted on the forum. So first we're just going to put a wall and a duck. Um, since I opened this out of default, we have to go in here and change the connections for our fire damper. Um, the default ones are global and we want to change these to the fitting type or else the script will not work. So let me do that real quick. All right, load that back into our project. override of course and let's delete this one and open up dynamo all right open the bottom there we go um so now we are going just to select that damper that we just loaded in and hit run and there we go so place damper not just place but actually connected in the ductwork So to do this one, of course it took some Python, but first just regular old school work, but um, get the element geometry and the duck, we're gonna get the location, that actually gives you a line. So when you do an intersection with that solid and that line, you actually get a line that pen, the line that penetrates the solid, and we want that midpoint. Um, so that, we got the fitting there, we got our point, and we have the duck curve. So pretty simple. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated. And now I'll show you one example that's quite a bit more complicated with a linked model and giving the user some options. So here we go. Um, this model is just a link model through some ductwork in here um, through different room types. Or not room types, uh, wall types, pardon me. And I just want to run this out of Dynamo Player to show you how easy it can be for the end user. So to combat the problem of kind of standards coming from the architect and them all naming their walls differently, um, we added this UI to let you select the wall type and then the damper type that you want to put in that wall. So not totally automated, but again, eliminates the standard issue. So let's run it again, maybe to pick a different wall type and a different damper type. So again, all the walls in the model are in there and all of our damper types are in there so select and there we have those in so let's tag these as you can see fire smoke damper smoke dampers so pretty cool stuff so here's that um, script um, a lot of packages used a lot of help again thank you everybody for contributing and putting this stuff for everyone to use. So the first thing we're going to take advantage of is data shapes. And the first question is what you want to filter by wall type or fire rating. So then after getting that, we want to collect all the walls in the link model and then filter those walls by the user selected pick. So again, the unique list of the walls and feeding all that into these drop downs which will give us all the wall types now and then the damper types so that's that second ui window no workflow so after that we come down here and we take those user selected inputs and we just start filtering out walls by that first
And then down here, we want to filter by the size, um, whether it's round or rectangle. So we're gonna use string contains. We're gonna get the size, and then if it has the theta in it, it's gonna be round. If it doesn't have the theta in it, then it will be rectangle. Um, right now, it does not work for oval, but I have never actually used oval, so whatever. So notice we have this list chop here. So that's something we have to do to make sure that it goes into this node properly. Um, as you can see, there's two of them. One's for the round duck and one's for the rectangular duck. And then those both go down and feed into the damper type. So we'll set our mark for our tag. So I just want to open this up. Um, again, this package, or this node's from the MEP over package from Taiko. Um, he wrote all this Python. It's like 300 lines, so pretty crazy just for putting a duck or a fitting into some duck work. Um, a lot of hard work, so thank you to him. Glad we could get this one out of the way. Excited for new things to come. I'm now thinking almost anything could be done with a little bit of Python, so excited to share more. Thank you guys.